few weeks ago, we had a chance to take a look at Tokyo's cheapest apartment at just under $100 a month. And again, we're playing fast and loose with the word apartment as it came with some pretty major caveats that made it questionable as to whether or not it was even really a livable space. It was old, it was raggedy and you know what, if you want to know more, go check that one out. But today I want to show you a place that's being called Tokyo's smallest new apartment. And in contrast to the last place, it is very new and it's very neat. Let's go take a look. All right, so this is the one we're going to be checking out right here. Are you ready? Can you feel the excitement? Okay, so right now I'm kind of in Gangkan or entrance way space, which is small, but it's not bad. I've, I've been in tighter spaces in Japan and then, oh, I like this place. Okay, we'll take a peek at this place completely empty and then see if we can talk to one of the residents and see how they, they use their space. So this is the entrance or Gangkan space right here and they've actually got a shoe closet right here wow you could be you could be a straight up shoe collector with that as well as a little closet space right here and you would probably fit your washing machine right in this space here it's got the whole hookup for it and everything and then right beside that you have an induction heater and a sink the landlord let me know that the water isn't hooked up right now so i'm not going to run the water but the thing that's already caught my attention the most is a lot of these smaller Japanese apartments tend to have something called a unit bath, which is like the bath and the sink and the toilet all in the same room. They're, they're terrible. But this place seems to have the shower and the washroom separate. This here is the shower. Oh, wow. That's actually not terrible. Like this is actually better than most showers you'll find in business hotels here in Japan. Okay. And the washroom itself is right here. And as you can see, they have put a lot of effort into making sure that both the washroom and the shower area have a really new and clean feel to them. <laughs> They're genuinely nicer than washrooms you'll find in a lot of apartments in Japan. But now for the moment of moments, the main room. <laughs> this is, well, this is the main room. It is tiny. In fact, this entire place is something like only nine meters squared, which means you're likely to find smaller places in Tokyo. In fact, my first apartment was pretty much just the size of this room here. I didn't have my own bathroom. It was a shared bathroom, but this place comes with some features and benefits that make it very livable and very interesting. So let me show you around and I guess share what's special about this. this place is just built to be really livable. Aside from the loft, which we'll take a look at in a second, there are little hangers up here that you can put your clothing on and whatnot if you want to hang your laundry. There's actually this neat little cord here that you can stretch across all the way to the other side. Boom. And you can hang your laundry there like that. And it, it takes a second to retract. The windows give the place a ton of light. It's got a brand new air conditioner in there. The plug here is wired for three outlets as well as LAN and TV. And then, and then what is this? What have we, what have we got here? Ah, okay. A little ventilation to the outdoors. Neat. But let's take a peek at the loft. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really nice. And the windows, again, just add so much light and, and it's got its own lights. This is very livable. This is what it looks like here. You could probably fit a bed or a futon there. Top to bottom might be a little tight for me, diagonally. <laughs> I, I'd figure it out. I'd actually probably put my bed down below anyway. I'd likely set up my bed down there and then use this for more storage or I don't know. I saw pictures of one person using a projector to, to watch like movies up in their loft area, which I thought was super neat. And even up here on the loft, you've got all the 
necessary light switches and whatnot. Nice. And the view out the window in this place is actually quite nice too. It's, there we go. We got really nice weather today as well. You can hear the birds. The building is also just as new and beautiful from outside as it is from in. This particular one is located in the Meguro Ward area in a space known as Yutenji. This is actually part of a project for cheap housing that they, they're trying to, how can I put it? They want to provide affordable housing to help like students and young people and really anybody get a leg up. And all of these are located within 10 minutes of the station in major areas areas like Shinjuku and the Meguro area, Ikebukuro and stuff like that all throughout Tokyo. And I, I love that. I think the project name is called Kukuri, which Kukuri, which is apparently the, the Greek word for cocoon. So they want people to be able to come out of like these small spaces and have used their time here to, to grow and develop. And I, I just, I, I know it's kind of nerdy, but I love it. I absolutely love the idea of that. But I also have managed to set up an interview with one of the residents. So let's go see if we can't meet and talk to him and see how he has his place set up. I'm super curious. Also, there are no conditions either. You don't have to be a student. You don't have to be of a certain age range. They have tons of non-Japanese residents as well. If you want to live here, they want you to live here. I, I kind of love that. I think, I think our guy's upstairs. I think this is our guy here. Konnichiwa. トミタ台所というかキッチンなんですけど、僕、あの、恵比寿で焼肉屋さんしてるんで、ま、まかないが出るんで、あの、ま、家では料理しない程で何ももうおかずにやってます。これ、あの、ウーパールーパーです。はい。2匹
He was a ton of fun. Lots of gratitude to him for sharing his time and his space. Also, I think that is my first time to ever see someone having an axolotl as a pet. Very interesting, but I realize we haven't talked about cost or anything yet. Because that's actually one of the really appealing features of this place is that despite being brand new with all brand new showers and toilets and air conditioners, the price is really good. So each of these rooms is only around 70,000 yen, about $650 give or take, depending on the area and whether it's in a corner and stuff like that, they can cap out as much as 80,000 yen. But considering that in this area, in the Meguroku area where I am, a used place for rent starts at around $1,000 a month and goes much, much higher than that. For places that aren't this clean and beautiful, that's really not bad at all. In fact, it's almost unheard of. Like I just, I love how much light you can get into this place. And if you can live the minimalist lifestyle, it makes moving really easy as well because moving in Japan can be super expensive. So living in a place like this, you could save all kinds of money. But I'm really curious about the, like the, the loft because even Koki was saying that when he first moved in, he used it a lot, but not as much anymore. I don't know. I think I would use this now. Mind you, I also have like a lifted loft space that I thought I would use a lot more than I do. And now it just gets used for shamis and recordings and stuff like that. But look at this. You can't, you can't even stand up in here. I guess you would have to live here to know if you really use it. And I would live here. This place is so much nicer, bigger and cleaner than my first ever apartment in Japan. Like if I was making YouTube videos back then, that would have been the place to show. But how about you? Would you live here? How would you use this loft? Would you use the loft? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for joining this one. And I will see you again real soon. Bye bye. Get a little bit of a post video challenge. Let's see if you can guess how I got this shot right here. I'll post the answer to like Instagram or Twitter or something. See so if you can guess it in the comments down below. Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff linked. All right, see you guys soon.